This video will provide some guidelines on citing books and ebooks using APA style. Watch the other APA style videos for citing different source types. When citing a book, you need to find the following information the name of the author, date of publication, title of the book, publisher, and DOI if it has one. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier and it's very important for citing lots of things in APA. It's a long string of numbers and letters that is unique to only this one work. Here are a few examples of what DOIs in books might look like. You'll sometimes see them in newer print books, but they're most common in ebooks. Let's look at a sample book. Most of the needed information can be found on either the title or the copyright page near the front of the book or in the book's record in a library catalog. Here's a book called Uprising How to Build a Brand and Change the World by Sparking Cultural Movements. Just under that is the author, sometimes you'll have more than one, or an editor instead of an author. On the title page you'll usually find the publisher, in this case McGraw-Hill. The date of publication is over on the copyright page, 2012, and I don't see a DOI on this one so we can just leave that off. Now that we have all the information we need, we can create our citation. APA says to include only the author's last name and initials, not their full first name. Also notice how you only capitalize the first word of the title and the first word of the subtitle, plus any proper nouns, of course. You don't capitalize every word. What if you had read this book on your Kindle from this Amazon page instead? The citation looks almost the same as the print version, with just the addition at the end of the stable URL where someone else could access the ebook. However, if you had read this ebook from a subscription library database or some other subscription service that would not be accessible to anyone without a login, then the citation looks exactly like the print citation did. You only include either a DOI or a URL that's freely available to anyone. Here's a quick example of an ebook which does have a DOI. Notice the formatting. DOIs are often formatted differently on the source itself, but APA says to make them into a functioning link by adding https colon slash slash doi dot org slash before the numbers. This is also an example of one that has editors instead of an author. You indicate that with ed or eds period in parentheses after their names. This page contains some other useful sources and good examples you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Don't hesitate to contact the library with any questions about citation. We're happy to help.